Hi everyone, this is Swanette from Nail Snap for Fun. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create this quill manicure and I was totally inspired by Messy Mansion's manicure. She has an Instagram and a YouTube if you didn't know. I'm going to put the links down below. I tried to see if she had a video on the manicure but she doesn't. Um, but definitely check the manicure out on her Instagram. It's gorgeous. So today I'm going to be showing you the steps and I hope you enjoy the video. First I apply two coats of Soya Taylor to all my nails and I let that completely dry. And then I prepped my nails with Bundle Monsters Poly Peel. Next we're going to be marbling in these three beautiful colors from Soya using my Messy Mansion Carbon Stamper. Applying colors with your stamper is very easy. First I apply different drops of polish on my stamping mat. Take my stamper, I gently push down and twirl it around and I start pressing those colors on my nails. Try not to pick up too much color otherwise it takes more time to dry. It takes practice but try it out, it's super fun. Once your nails have fully dried, then we start to stamp. And I just love this pattern, the quill pattern. For this manicure, I'll be using Messy Mansion's 24 plate. For the beautiful script lettering, I'll be using Messy Mansion's soft gold. And for the quill, I'll be using Messy Mansion's carbon. And I want to achieve this look. Let's start stamping. So first we apply the color on the plate and we gently swipe and we pick up. Lightly roll with these stampers. Now I'm going to try to slant the lettering and press it on the nail. Continue to do this on all your nails. This step is optional, but I sometimes like to apply a top coat in between my stamping. Just in case I make a mistake, I can try to remove it without having to do all the manicure again. And here comes the difficult part, trying to position that quill on all my four nails. I'm used to positioning um, with the stamper, but of course if you have a clear stamper, definitely take that clear stamper out and use it. What I like to do is to have the stamper face me, that way I can see what I'm doing and I push down. Always making sure, looking at my nails, where I'm going to stamp next. So that's a great way to stamp, you know, make take that stamper face it towards you so you can see what you're doing and press down of course like I said before you have a clear stamper now's the time to take it out and use it because it will make your life much easier Thank you. 
Next, I like to clean up before I apply my top coat, but this is optional. You can clean up at the end of your manicure. Remember, cleaning up is a pain, and it definitely does take a lot of time. I'm using a nail polish remover and a small brush that I purchased on eBay in a set of five. These brushes are great for cleanup. And finally, you apply your favorite top coat. And here's the final result. I just love these. What do you think? Remember, you can use your clear stamper. It'll make your life much easier. Believe me. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. Please take care and happy stamping. Bye.